In this video, we're going to be looking at the merge conflict errors. Uh, sometimes they differ. Some of them can be like merge conflict choose between the source and target branch. Another one can be automatic merge fail, fix the, fix the conflicts, and then commit the result. So basically, it's when we are trying to merge branches and we run into a conflict. So first of all, let's look at what's not going to generate a merge conflict. <clears throat> Suppose we have the master branch and we create a branch off of master and off of master one, we'll call it. And we edit table A, and this is table A.sql file. And let's say we add a name varkar character. And on the master branch, we edit table B, which is table B.sql file, and we add a first name and a last name character. Okay. Now, if we were to do a merge from off master to master, there would be no issue. Why? Because these are different files, right? This is table A, SQL, and this is table B, SQL, right? So there's not going to be a conflict here. And that's because these are two different files. <clears throat> so we would be able to merge off master into master without an issue. And by the way, I should point out that sometimes you'll see this a lot. You'll have master and then you'll have branches off of master. So there will be several of them and they'll be merging back to master. Well, keep in mind there can um, be issues with those other branches as well. But to generate a merge conflict with this type of scenario, what we could do is we could have off master two and we could have master. And on master, we're going to edit the table C SQL file. And we'll do the same with table C SQL file and off master. And you notice something here. We have ID int, we have name varkar, but in this, and again, this is the same file, keep in mind, we have ID int, we have first name character and last name character. Okay. The problem is this is the same file. So when we merge, there's a conflict because these both file, these, these files were edited. And so it's going to ask us to pick between the source and the target or the source and the destination depends on the tool, right? Because it says, hey, you want to merge this off master two into master, but I see that master's file has been edited as well. Right, so which am I going to take between these, right? Because they both changed. Okay, another way to look at this as well. Let's say this is the final branch, and we have branch one and we have branch two. In branch one, we edit or we change object one and object three. In branch two, we edit or change object three and object two. Well, notice something. Branch one and branch two, we changed object three, right? So when we merge, which one are we going to take? right between these branches because this branch changed object three and this branch changed object three. There won't be an issue with object one and there won't be an, an issue with object two. Why? Well, because branch two changed object two and branch one changed object one. They didn't change both of these, right? So one and two will merge without issues, of course, but three is going to be different because both of these branches edited three, assuming that, of course, uh, those are different changes. And so when people ask, well, how do we go about changing or how do we go about solving this? And this is the case that the developers are asking me. I said, well, in this case, uh, first of all, if your data architect is in charge, and as we see with the schema, is in charge of how the schema is going to look, you would consult the data architect. But a lot of times the solution really is to, to get the developers who checked in these changes um, to get them to, to speak and, and resolve the issue. So again, if we have, let's say, uh, Bob, who, or let's say John Doe, and we have um, Sarah Doe here, or Jane Doe, I'm sorry. So John Doe on, on branch one and Jane Doe on branch two, and they both edit object three, fundamentally, they're going to have to work between the two of them as to which changes need to be taken. And they'll take whichever uh, those are. And so it's the same thing with here. Let's say that actually master has it right, that edited file in master. It's like, okay, so we actually want a first name and a last name character. We don't actually want this name Varkar. So then what that means is, of course, we're going we're gonna to take the uh, source, right? I'm sorry, we're going to take the, the target. So the idea is this is the source table that we brought off. We're going to move it to the target here in master. We're going to keep master's changes. We're not going to keep off master too, right? And so that's how this changes. Now, it does get more complicated if you have obviously a bigger team that you have like, let's say, six different branches off of a master or off of uh, another branch. But that is fundamentally what's going on is you have multiple branches that are changing the same object. So you have to think about, well, how is that going to be checked in? Right, And sometimes it's very clear. Sometimes it's in the case of a table file. It could be somebody creates a table and then another person doesn't create the table. They just add an index to that table. And it could be when you look at the other uh, to create table file, you're like, oh, the index was a later change. You know, it picked it up, but, the, but fundamentally they're, change, they're adding an index, but they're keeping the same schema. So that would be like branch two adding an index. Branch one just created or added a new column. And branch two reflects that column but it added an index, so it would be clear probably between the developers, oh, okay, that index is going to be kept. Sometimes, sometimes it's not. 
but that's fundamentally what's going on here.